Hi there, Addy here with BuildingsForSaleToronto.com, here with only six properties. It's uh, been a slow weekend for new properties coming in. Part of the reason is because we had bad weather over the weekend, so uh, that's usually expected. Anytime there's good weather, we get a lot of listings coming in, but uh, right now we only have six to check out. Mind you, there's a whole bunch of properties that got sold that I'm not including. Uh, so if you want to get the sold prices on properties, you can always reach out and we can discuss, we can send those over to you. So first one, we have 35 Hollow Crescent, 499 is what they're asking. Rexdale and Kipling area is this property. This is a property that is primed for somebody to come in and renovate it. That's what it looks like in the notes. Uh, it's got a side entrance, it's a duplex. 499 is what they're asking, $2,700 in property taxes, three bedroom plus one in the basement with two washrooms in it. Again, a duplex to be renovated. Uh, they're asking 499 169 Sherman is the next one uh, 699 is what they're asking for this one six units in this one 6,000 square feet 50 by 92.31 feet is the lot size uh, It says to five five units and one commercial if I remember correctly Oh presently divided into six units two one bedrooms four two bedrooms Excellent condition close to all kinds of amenities presently vacant as new investor may rent to qualified clients So it's all available to be rented out. There's not many pictures here, but you can see uh, it's got a good decent sized lot in there and you have enough parking there too. So if you're interested, reach out. Another renovation property, 29th Scarborough Golf Club. They're missing a B over here. Club Road, 799 900 is what they're asking for this one. 64 feet by 150 feet duplex. It it's, it's a classic one. You need to renovate it completely on the inside and out. As you can see, it's got the stinky red carpet in there. Uh, it's got a good lot size, 150 deep, 64 feet wide. Uh, Scarborough Club Road is a good road. Guildwood is an area where there's a lot of demand. This is an area where there's a lot of renovations going on. People are buying properties and renovating them, and some are even redevelop redeveloping them into uh, into bigger properties. So you see custom homes coming in this area now too. Uh, it's a duplex right now. It's got an attached garage as well. So if you if, even if you were to just buy this property as is and just renovate it, you should be able to make money on it. I don't know about the seven ninety nine price. We'll have to take a look at that a little bit closer. It's got six parking lot. It's got a large driveway. Definitely an interesting one. This is uh, this is uh, Portland in Mimico, in 999-800. This is another one of the ones we saw before, Marjorie, where, which I really, really like. Uh, it's got four units in it, so it's about a $250,000 per unit price. There's a lot of development going on in the area, so the property values are supposed to go up. Uh, it mentions uh, residential with three over here, but i seen, so it says $3,400 uh, a month in... Uh, in, gen in income that is generating gross income. Uh, but there's another listing that I saw where it's saying four and they, they say three over here. So I'm not sure which one it is, but if it's the four units, then it definitely makes sense. At three units, it's a little bit pricey. But uh, let's, there's not many pictures of the inside, as I mentioned before, so hard to gauge what the interior looks like. $3,400 a month is what they're generating. So if you look at that, 3,400 times 12, and we say this one is running at, let's say, around 20, 15%, 15% 15 uh, expense to income ratio. So that works out to 34,680 divided by 998, 000, so that's a 3.5% cap rate. So, uh, if it's four units definitely there's an opportunity over here because it does have four washrooms there so if it's four units the the rents are definitely below market so you can make money on this one if it's three units then you have to see if there is any potential to increase the increase the rents so an interesting property to check out next we have 1695 jane street they're asking 1.1 1 .1, 4800 square feet 2400 is the apartments and 2400 is retail there 30 by 100 feet is the lot size on this one so this is close to lawrence avenue uh the income they didn't have financials but they at least included some numbers in here for us to take a look at so you have um three apartments one three bedroom is rented for 1235 and then two three bedrooms at 1375 plus 1375 and then you have three two bedrooms and 925 so 925 plus 925 plus 925 so that's 67 67 60 minus your hydro six thousand dollars oh that wasn't right so what we have to do is times it by 12 uh so that's your yearly minus six thousand dollars is your hydro and then minus two thousand dollars for your gas minus three thousand dollars for insurance minus 1800 
and that's 68320 now one thing we're missing is the property tax so the property taxes are 13,500 and that's $54,820 now one thing to note over here is that they is it this one so oh and there's $5,000 per month sorry I missed that one so plus plus 60,000 am I right on this one so they're paying 60,000 60,000 so 114,000 and that makes it really really attractive one one zero 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 that's a 10.4 percent cap rate there's a mistake in here somewhere there's definitely a mistake because it doesn't make sense five thousand dollars plus half of water half of gas and electric and then they have three apartments one three bedroom two oh that's what the mistake is sorry so i made a mistake over here so let's run the numbers again see this is what happens when you don't pay attention all right so five thousand dollars plus you have one three bedroom 13 12 35 plus number two see this is they, they shouldn't be putting the number two there plus 13 13 plus you have 925 that's it times 12 there's the number minus six thousand in hydro minus gas is two thousand minus three thousand minus 1800 for water minus and then we have to put the property tax in 13,500 there you go now divide that by one one zero 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 so there's a 6.92 percent cap rate definitely a really uh, probably one of the better ones that we've seen in toronto there's 1647 that is also for sale over there too that is further down closer to lawrence so there's some there's potential over here uh, i i can think of two clients right now that i'm going to be calling about this one uh, last we have 2829 Eglinton Avenue East. This is an interesting one because it's a strip plaza. There's a strip plaza and it is closer to McCowan. They're asking 3.38 for it. 149 by 201 is the lot size. 9,600 square foot is the is the plaza. And uh, it's they're saying net operating income are around 200,000. So at 200,000 divided by 3388000. So there's a 5.9% cap rate. But the best part about this one is because it's got a decent law size, you can redevelop it. Uh, I read in there that the uh, the there's actually a six month demo clause that is already included in a lot of the leases and vacant possession is possible for this one. So that might be an interesting one for somebody looking to buy. And then afterwards, if you want to redevelop it, Eglinton and uh, Eglinton McCowan is not a bad area. There's a lot of development going on in this area. As you can see right next door, this is another strip plaza over here. There's a building across the street. So uh, interesting one. And that's about it for today. If you have any questions, concerns, reach out 877-439-2339, addy at heyaddy.com. The copy of these listings are listed below. And when you're sending me an email, please include the MLS number so I can make sure I check it out. Another thing we're doing is we're starting our downtown Toronto meetup group. Uh, so we used to have this before, but we're restarting it again. So where we what we do is we get together with uh, new investors, old investors. And we sit down, we have coffee, and we talk about real estate, real estate market. What are the different opportunities that are coming here? If you want to learn more about real estate investments, what you can do is you can come out and you can post questions to us and other members of the of the group, uh, and people can share with their experience and uh, and it's everybody learns and everybody grows together. So if you're interested in that one, I put a link down below where the meetup group is going to be the next one and then you can reach out 877-439-2339 addy at heyaddy.com talk to you soon bye bye